many are in panic mode. They're reaching out to friends and family, searching for a place to stay for tonight and worried about where they will call home in the future. Now, the order to vacate told people they had to be out by 5 p.m. That means about five minutes ago. And as you can see, we're right across the street here. We have seen some vehicles and people walking in and out of building one, and there are city official vehicles on site. We're just trying to find somewhere to go. Amy Coco has lived at America's Best Inn for the last two years. Her apartment is filled with personal belongings and also full of sentimental value. My boyfriend had just died last Monday, so a lot of his stuff is in the room. Um, I don't have anywhere to put it, so I guess I'm going to have to leave it. She is one of the multiple people living in Building 1 at America's Best Inn that found this order to vacate or face arrest, prosecution, and fines. According to city documents, inspectors found a list of issues, including damage and deterioration that risk collapse, fire and windstorm hazards, structural parts that are overloaded, and multiple property safety and maintenance code violations. The city is requiring property managers restore or demolish the building. We reached out to hotel management who said they are working to relocate people into other buildings, but space is limited. And this afternoon, people like Dina Patterson were still waiting to be moved. Been down there twice today, and they said by 11 o'clock they'd have us another room in one of these two buildings. I haven't heard anything further from them. Coco has already paid through Thursday, and when she asked for a refund, and they said they had to track down the guy who actually owns the property to be able to give us anything back. Coco plans to stay with a relative for the night, but has no permanent place to go. As for Patterson, I'm going to have to rent something or I don't know, and I've got to go look at houses and try to find something else. It's, it's, it's not something I would wish on anyone. It's horrible. According to inspection paperwork, each of the units that were impacted by this order to vacate was provided information for the city's social services division to see if they qualify for alternative housing. We also found out, found out that at least four of the units were families with children. Reporting near Bay Meadows, Atia Collins, First Coast News on your side.